वंदे हम श्री गुरु श्रीयुत पद कमल श्री गुरु वैष्णव श्री रूप सागर जात सहगण रघुनाथ सावधूतन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्री राधा कृष्ण पादान सगण लिता शाखाता ओम अज्ञान तिबिराध से ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुन्वेदन तस्म श्री गुरव नम आम श्रेष्ठ मनोकिशुचिपुत्रूपम तस्ग्रजमुपुरी माधुरी गोष्ठवाटि राधा कुंडम गिरीवर महोराधि माधवाशा प्राप्त यृपया श्री गुरु तम नोस्मी नमस्ते गुरुदेवाय सर्वसिद्धि प्रदायिने सर्वंगल रूपाय सर्वानंद विधायिने दीन बंधो स्वानंदता करुण सिंधो वृंदावनासीन हितावतार प्रसीद राधा प्रणय प्रचार प्रायस्वो जगन्नाथ गुर संसार वंदिना दग्ध मं कालदष्ट शरण तथा से रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री जैव धर्म फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ऑफर वेम बिलियन ऑफ ओबेसेंसेस लोटस पीट ऑफ अस्मति गुरु पाद पद्म नित्यला प्रेष्ट जगत गुरु श्री श्रीमद भक्ति वेदांत नारायण गोस्वामी महाराज त्रेडी स्वामी श्री महाराज नाम निष्ठ संत श्री अनिरुद्ध दास प्रभु जी ऑल द वैष्णवज एंड वैष्णवी गैदर्ड हियर प्लीज एक्सेप्ट माय हम्बल ओबेसेंसेस सो वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग श्री जय बधर विच इज द एसेंस ऑफ ऑल द स्क्रिप्चर्स इन द वर्ल्ड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी अटेंटिवली लिसन टू श्री जय बधर्मा because jeva dharma is such a wonderful book if one book you study properly you get the essence of all the books in the world so now we are discussing dashamul tatva which is even the essence of um, shri jeva dharma apart from the three kinds of kriya shakti potency of activity that i have described sarup shakti also has three other types of function named ladini sandini and samvit they are described as follows in the dashamula save latinyascha pranaya vikrute ladana ratas tatha sambishakti prakatita raho bhava ratita tatha shri sandinya krita bishar tatha maniche prasam bodo magno prachara subhilasi vijayate this is dashamul fourth shloka There are three functions of Swarupa Shakti: Ladini, Sandini, and Samvit. Krishna remains perpetually immersed in the pranay vikar of the Ladini Shakti because of the confidential bhavas evoked by Samvit Shakti. He is ever situated as Rasika Shekhar, relishing newer and newer rasa. That supremely independent pastime prince Sri Krishna is ever drowned within the ocean of Raja Rasa. in his transcendental blissful abodes held by vrindavan which are manifest through sandini shakti all glory to him the purport is that the three aspects of swarupa shakti namely ladini sandini and samvit completely influence all the activities of the chit shakti jiva shakti and maya shakti the ladini vritti of swarupa shakti as shrimati radhika the daughter of rishabhanu maharaj gives full transcendental bliss and enjoyment to krishna shrimati radhika is the embodiment of mahabhav she gives happiness to krishna in her own transcendental form and she also enters she eternally manifest eight bhavas as the eight principal sakhis 
who are direct extensions kaya view of her own swarupa besides that she manifests her four different types of service moods as the four different types of sakis namely priya sakhi darun sakis prana sakis and parama prashta sakis all these sakis are nitya sada siddha sakis within the transcendental realm of braja <clears throat> so you'll see that um, how important is radha rani because in this material world we don't see any happiness but any happiness um, that exists in the spiritual world that is actually coming from radha rani she, she gives happiness even to krishna so how how great she was uh, she is the greatest uh, so the samvit vritti of swarup shakti manifest all the various moods of the relationships sambandha bhavas within braja sandini manifest everything in braja that consists of water earth and so on such as the villages forests gardens and giri govardhan which are places of krishna's past times it also manifest all the other transcendental objects used in krishna's past times as well as the transcendental bodies of shri radhika shri krishna and the sakhis sakhas cows dasas dasis so on shri krishna is always engrossed in supreme bliss in the form of the pranay vikar of ladini and being endowed with the various bhavas manifested by the samvit vritti he relishes pranay rasa through the samvit vritti of his rash Krishna performs activities such as attracting the gopis by playing upon his vamushti, taking the cows out for grazing, gocharan, rasa lila, and other pastimes. Shri Krishna, who is Braja Vilasi, the enjoyer of pastimes in Braja, always remains immersed in rasa in his transcendental dharma, which is manifested by the sandini potency. Amongst all the abodes of his pastimes, the abode of his Braja pastimes is the best. Ajahnath, you have just explained that Sandini, Samvid, and Ladini are all manifestations of Swarup Shakti. You have also said that Jiva Shakti is an atomic part of Swarup Shakti, that Maya Shakti is the reflection of Swarup Shakti. Now, kindly explain how the Sandini, Samvid, and Ladini tendencies act upon the Jiva and Maya. <laughs> Baba Ji, Jiva Shakti is the atomic potency of Swarup Shakti, and all three aspects of Swarup Shakti are present in it. to a minor degree thus the ladini vritti is also present in the jiva in the form of brahmananda spiritual bliss samvit vritti is present in the form of brahmakya transcendental knowledge and sandini vritti is present in the jiva's minor form i will explain this subject matter more clearly when we discuss jiva tattva in maya shakti the ladini vritti is manifest in the form of mundane pleasure jadananda samvit vritti is manifest in the form of material knowledge bhautik gyan and the sandini shakti is manifest in the form of the entire material universe which consists of the 14 planetary systems and the material bodies of the jivas prajanat why is shakti called inconceivable if all of its activities can be understood like this baba ji these topics can be understood in isolation from each other but their relationships are inconceivable in the material world because opposite qualities have the inherent tendency to annihilate each other principles that are mutually opposed cannot be present together at the same place however shri krishna shakti has such inconceivable power that in the spiritual world it manifests all the mutually opposing qualities together at the same time and is a very wonderful and beautiful manner even though shri krishna has the most beautiful form rupa is formless arupa he has a transcendental murti form but is present everywhere he is always active and yet being unaffected he performs no karma he is the son of nanda maharaj although he is unborn he is simply a covered boy although he is worshiped by all others and he has a human like form and bhava although he is omniscient similarly at one and the same time he possesses all qualities sarvishesh 
and yet he has no qualities nirvishesh he is achintya inconceivable and full of rasa he is both limited and limitless he is very far away and very close by he is unaffected nirvikar and yet he is afraid of the man sulking mood or apparent anger of the gopis how far can we enumerate the infinite variety of shri krishna's qualities such as these they contradict each other and yet they are eternally and beautifully present without opposition or conflict in his swarupa is abode and in the various paraphernalia related to him this is the inconceivable nature of his shakti brajanat do the vedas accept this baba ji it has been accepted everywhere it has been said in the shweta shweta upanishad 3.19 apani pado chavano grahita pashyati achakshu sashtranoti akarana saveti vedyam na chatasya asti vedta tamahurakram purusham mahantam that paramatma has no material hands or legs but he accepts everything with his transcendental hands and goes everywhere with his transcendental legs He has no material eyes or ears, yet he sees and hears everything with his transcendental eyes and ears. He knows all that is to be known and the activities of everything, but no one can know him unless he reveals himself. The transcendentalists who know Brahma call him the original personality, the great Purusha who is the cause of all causes. In the Upanishad, in the Isha Upanishad, we find the following statements: Tat ejati. तत् नैजति तत् दूरे तत् वंतिके तत् अंतर अस्य सर्वस्य तत् उसर्वस्यास्य भायदा ईशोपनिषद आई आई परमेश्वर आउट वॉक्स एंड येट ही डज नॉट वॉक इज फर्दर देन द फर्देस्ट येट इज आल्सो द नियरर देन द नियरेस्ट ही इज विद इन एवरीथिंग एंड एट द सेम टाइम आउटसाइड ऑफ एवरीथिंग This is how the qualities in the spiritual world are perfectly resolved, although they appear to contradict each other. So, Paryagat, Shukram, Akayam, Abhram, Asna, Viram, Shuddham, Apa, Pavitram, Kavir, Manishi, Parivu, Swamvur, Yatha, Thatoyo, Arthan, Vedadaj, Chashuvati, Bhya, Samabhya. Shukri, that Paramatma is omnipresent and pure. He has no material form, but he has an eternal, transcendental form, full of knowledge and bliss. This body has no veins or holes, and is beyond all designations. He is the primeval sage and poet. He is omniscient, and he appears by his own desire. Situated on the highest platform, he controls everything by his inconceivable potency. He maintains everything throughout the eternity and engages all others in work according to their qualities. Prajnat, is there any description in the Vedas of Bhagwan, who is completely independent, appearing in this material world of his own volition? Baba Ji, yes, the Vedas mention it in several places. और उपनिषद रिलेट्स टू अ डायलॉग बिटवीन उमा एंड महेंद्रा शिशिवजी विच्रीवाज ए forgot this and began to boast of their strength and valor at this point para brahma bhagwan who is the reservoir of mercy appeared there in a wonderful form and inquired as to the cause of their pride he then produced a straw and asked them to destroy it the devatas were amazed for the deva of fire could not burn it nor could the deva of wind lift it despite exerting all their potential prowess The devas were astounded 
to see Bhagwan's extraordinarily beautiful form and wonderful power. Tasmai Pitram Tadha Vedhati Tadupa Preyaya Sarvajavena Tanna Shashatadakdhum Sadat Eva Nivartate Naitad Dashakam Vidnyatum Yadetad Yakshamiti. That Yaksha was actually Bhagwan put a straw in front of Agridev and said, Let us see your strength. Can you burn this dry straw? Agridev went close to that straw and directed all his powers at it, but he couldn't burn it. Ashamed, he returned and said to the Devatas, I cannot understand who this Yaksha is. The confidential purport of the Vedas is that Bhagwan is an inconceivably beautiful person. He appears by his own sweet desire and performs various pastimes with Ajiba. Prajanath, Bhagavad has been called an ocean of rasa. Is this described anywhere in the Vedas? Babaji, it is clearly stated in the Taitri Upanishad 2.7. Yadvaitat Sukrutam Raso Vaisaha. Rasam hevayam lagdhwanani bhavati kohi evanyata kah pranyat oh kah pranyat yadi shakasha anando nasyat eshahi evanandayati Param Brahma Paramatma is a Sukruta Brahma, the very handsome Supreme Spirit. His Swarup is unalloyed rasa. And when the Jiva realizes this Rasa Swarupa Par Brahma, he becomes full of Ananda. Who would endeavor to live if that undivided reality were not the embodiment of Ananda in the form of Rasa? Paramatma alone gives bliss to all, Prajanath. If he is Rasa Swarupa, why can't the materialist see him or cooperate, Baba? There are two types of conditioned Jivas. Those who are turned away from Krishna, Parak, and those who are facing Krishna, Pratyak. Jivas in the Parak state cannot see Krishna's beauty because they are opposed to him. They only see and think about material things. Jivas in the Pratyak state are opposed to Maya and favorable to Krishna so that they can see Krishna's Rasasvaru. It is said in the Katha Upanishad. Paranji Khani Vyatrunat Swambhus Tasmat Paran Pashati Nantaratman Kashit Hira Pratyak Atmanam Aikshat Abrutta Jakshur Amrutat Amrutat Pum Nichan The self born Parmeshwara has made all the senses so that they tend towards external objects. That is why the jiva normally perceives <clears throat> only external objects through his senses and is unable to see Bhagwan situated within his heart. Only a grave and resolute person, Hira, who desires liberation in the form of love of Krishna, can disengage his ears and other senses from external objects and see the Pratyakatma Shri Bhagwan. Prajanath. Who is the one who has been called the embodiment of Rasa in the Shloka Raso Vaisa? Babaji. It is said in the Kopal Tapni Upanishad Purva Khanda, 12th and 13th verses. Kopavesham Abhyabham Tarunam Kalpadruma Shritam Satpundari Kanayanam Megaham Vaityutambaram Tipujam Mauna Mudradhyam Panamalinam Ishwaram. His dress is like that of a covered boy. His eyes are like a fully blossomed white lotus. The hue of his body is blackish blue like monsoon clouds. And he wears an effulgent yellow cloth that is as brilliant as lightning. His form is two handed and is situated in Jnana Mudra, the post indicating divine knowledge. His neck is beautified with a garland of forest flowers that reach to his feet and he is standing beneath a divine kalpavriksha. That Shri Krishna is the Lord of all. 
Prajanath. Now I understand that Sri Krishna in his Nitya Siddha Sarupa within the spiritual world is all powerful. The monument Swarupa of Rasa. And the abode Ashra Swarupa of all Rasa. He cannot be attained by Brahma Gya. If one practices the eightfold system of yoga, one can only realize his partial manifestation as Paramatma. Nirvishesh Brahma is but the bodily luster of Sri Krishna, who is full of eternal spiritual qualities and is the worshipable Lord of all worlds. However, we can find no means to attain him because he is beyond the jurisdiction of our thinking power. Moreover, what means do human beings have apart from their faculty of contemplation? Whether one is a Brahmana or an untouchable, he does not have any means other than his mind. Therefore, it is very difficult to attain Sri Krishna's mercy, Babaji. It is said in Katha Upanishad 2.2.13. Tam Atmastham ye Anupashanti Riras, Tisham Shanti, Shashwati, Ne Tarisham. Only the wise man who see Paramatma within himself can achieve eternal peace. No one else can. Prasanat. One may be able to attain eternal peace by constantly seeing him within oneself. But what is the process by which one can see him? It is difficult to understand. Babaji. It is said in the Katha Upanishad 1.2.23. Naya Matma Prabhachane Nalabhyo Name Dayana Bahuna Shrutena Yame Vaisha Vishmanute Tena Labhyas Tasaivat Ma Vimute Tanum Sam. One cannot attain Parabrahma Paramatma by lecturing, by intellect, or by study of various Shastras. He only reveals his transcendental form by his own mercy to one whom he himself accepts. It is said in the Srimad Bhagavatam 10 Canto 14, Chapter 29, verse Atha Pite Deva Padam Bujatvaya Prasadaleshanu Gruhita Evahi Jana Titatvam Bhagavan Mahim No Na Chane Eko Pichiram Vichinman O oh Lord, one who attains even a little bit of the mercy of you, of your true lotus feet, can comprehend the essence of your transcendental glories. Others cannot realize the essential truth of yourself, even though they may keep searching for you for many years through Gyan and Vairagya. My son, my Prabhu, is very magnificent. That Sri Krishna, who is the soul of all souls, cannot be attained by reading or hearing various shastras or by arguments and discourse and discussions. Nor can he be attained through sharp intelligence or by accepting several gurus. Only one who accepts him as my Krishna can attain. He will only manifest his transcendental Sachidana form to such a bhakta. When we analyzed the Vidhya Tattva, You'll be able to understand these truths easily. Prajanath, are the names of Krishna's abodes written anywhere in the Vedas? Babaji, yes. Names such as Parabhyoma, Brahma Gopapuri, and Gokul are found in several places in Vedas. For example, the Shweta Shatra Upanishad says, Rucho Akshare Parame Pyoman. Yasmin Deva Adi Vishwe Nishedu Yastan Veda Kim Chakarishati Nadita Vidusta Samasate. One must know that infallible Akshara Brahma, who resides in the abode called Parabhyoma, is the subject matter of the mantras in the Veda, and all the devas take shelter of him. One who does not know that Parapurusha cannot fulfill any purpose through the Vedas. However, one becomes blessed who realizes that Paramatma in accordance with Tattva. 
it is said in the Mundaka Upanishad, 2.2.7. Divya Brahma Purehi Esha Yomni Atma Pratishthita. That Paramatma eternally resides in the transcendental Brahma Pur. That is the form of Parabhyama. It is said in the Purusha Bodhini Shruti. Gokulakhe Mathura Mandale Dve Parshve Chandravali Radhika Cha. In the area of Mathura called Gokul, Shivati Radhika is situated on one side and of Bhagwan and Chandravali on the other. It is stated in the Gopal Tapti Upanishad. Tasam Madhe Sakshat Brahma Gopala Purihi. Brahma Gopal Puri is situated in the middle of the group of transcendental abodes. Pradhanath, why do the Tantric Brahmanas call Shiva's potency Durga? The deluding potency Maya Shakti is called Shiva Shakti. This Maya has three modes, namely Sattva, Raja and Tapa. Brahmanas in the Sattvic mode worship Maya in a pure way as the form that embodies Sattva Guna. Brahmanas in the Rajasic mode worship Maya in the form that embodies Rajaguna. And Brahmanas in Tamasic mode worship Maya as the presiding deity of darkness, Tamaguna. Taking ignorance to be knowledge. In fact, Maya Shakti is only a name for the transformation Vikara of Bhagavan's Parashakti in the form of its shadow, Chaya. It is not a separate independent Shakti. Maya is the sole cause of the Jiva's bondage and liberation. When the jiva becomes opposed to Krishna, Maya punishes him by throwing him into worldly bondage. However, when the jiva becomes favorable to Krishna, the same Maya manifests the sattvic quality and gives him knowledge of Krishna. She then liberates him from worldly bondage and makes him qualified to attain love of Krishna. Consequently, the jivas bound by the modes of Maya cannot see the pure form of Maya that is the Sarupa Shakti of Bhagavan. And they worship Maya alone as the primable Shakti. The Chiva in the state of illusion can only realize these advanced philosophical truths by good fortune and by the power of Sukruti. Otherwise, being wielded by Maya and entangled in false conclusions, he remains bereft of real knowledge. In Gokul Upanishad, Durga Devi has been counted among Shri Hari's associates. Who is this Durga of Gokul? Babaji, Durga of Gokul is none other than Yoga Maya. She is situated, situated as the seed of transformation of Chi Shakti. So when she is present in the spiritual world, she considers herself to be non-different from the Sarupa Shakti. The material Maya is only a transformation of that Yoga Maya. Durga, situated in the material world, is an attendant. Is an attendant made servant of that Durga of the Sarup Shakti in the spiritual world. The Durga of the Sarup Shakti is Lila Pushana Shakti, the potency that nourishes Krishna's pastimes. The gopis who have taken complete shelter of the Parakya Bhav, Paramur Bhud, bestowed by Yoga Maya, nourish Krishna's uh, Rasa. Rasa Vilas, Rasa Vilas in the spiritual world. The purport of the statement Yoga Mayam Upashita, Shrimad Bhagavatam 10.29.1 about the Rasa Vila is that there are many such activities in Krishna's transcendental pastimes that appear like ignorance due to the Sarupa Shakti, but actually they are not. In order to nourish Maha Rasa, Yoga Maya stages, activities that appear to be performed in ignorance. We'll analyze this subject in detail later on when we discuss Rasa. Prajanath. There is one thing that I wish to know concerning Dhamma Tattva. Kindly tell me, why do the Vaishnavas refer to Navadhi Pashti Dham? Babaji, Shri Navadip Dham and Shri Vrindavan Dham are not different from each other. And Mayapur is the highest truth within Navadip Dham. The relationship of Sri Mayapur to Navadip is the same as the relationship of Sri Gokul to Braj. Mayapur is the Mahayoga Pit, the great place of meeting of Navadip. According to the shloka Channaha Kalav of Srimad Bhagavatam, 7th canto, 9th chapter, 38 verse, the plenary avatar of Bhagavan who appears in Kali Yuga 
श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज कवर्ड एंड सिमिलरली इज होली अबोर्ड सर ऑल्सो कवर्ड कलयुग आर नो अदर होली प्लेस इज इक्वल टू श्री नवदीन only one who can realize the transcendental nature of this dham is actually qualified for braj rasa from an external material point of view both braj dham and navadvip dham appear to be mundane only those whose spiritual eyes have some good fortune been opened can see the dham as it is brajanath i want to know the swarup of this navadvip dham baba ji golok Vrindavan and Shradip are the inner compartments of Parabhyom, the spiritual sky. Shri Krishna's Swakya Lila takes place in Goloka. His Parakya Lila takes place in Vrindavan. And its Parishishta, supplementary Lila takes place in Shradip. In Tattva, there is no difference between these three Dhamas. Navadip is really Shradip. So it is not different from Vrindavan. The residents of Navadip are very fortunate, for they are associates of Sri Gauranga Dev. One can only attain residence of Navadip after performing many pious activities. Some rasa is not manifested in Vrindavan, but that very rasa is manifest in Navadip as a supplement of Vrindavan rasa. One experiences that rasa only when one becomes competent to relish it. Prajnath, how large is Navadip Dham, Baba Ji? The area of Shri Navadip Dham is 16 crore, and is shaped like that of a lotus flower with eight petals, which are the eight islands: Simantadip, Godramadip, Madhadip, Koladip, Rotadip, Jannadip, Moodadramadip, and Rotadip. Antardip. Which is situated in the center of these islands is like the wall of the lotus flower. And Sri Mayapur is situated at the very heart of this Antarvi. One can quickly attain love of Krishna by performing Sadhan Bhajan in Navadiv Dham and especially in Mayapur. The Maha Yoga Pit, the residence or Mandir of Sri Jagannath Mishra, is situated in the center of Mayapur. And is this very Yoga Pit? The most fortunate of all jivas take, always take darshan of Shri Gauranga Dev's Nittalila, Prasanath. Are the pastimes of Shri Gauranga Dev a work of Swarup Shakti? Babaji, Shri Gaurav's pastimes are arranged by the same Shakti who arranges Shri Krishna's pastimes. There is no difference between Shri Krishna and Gauranga Dev. Shri Swarup Karamodha Swami says, Radha Krishna Pranay Vikratir Ladini Shakti Rasmat प्रणय विकार because of the eternality of their past times vilas tatva now these two tatvas are manifested in one swarupa in the form of chaitanya tatva therefore i bow down to this swarupa of krishna that is endowed with the loving sentiments and luster of shrimati radhika krishna and chaitanya mahaprabhu are both eternally manifest it cannot be determined which of them came earlier and who came later First Chaitanya was there and then Radha Krishna manifested. And now they have merged together again and appeared in the form of Chaitanya Dev. The understanding of this statement is not that one of them existed earlier and the other appeared later. Both manifestations are eternal. They are present for all time and will exist for all time. All the pastimes of the Supreme Truth are eternal. Those who think that one of these pastimes is principal and the other is secondary are ignorant of the truth and devoid of rasa. If Sri Gauranga Dev is directly the complete plenary truth, what then is the process for his worship? Babaji, worshipping Gaurabha, chanting Gauranam Mantra, 
award the same benefit as worshiping Krishna by chanting his holy names in Krishna Nam Mantra. Worshiping Gaura through Krishna Mantra is the same as worshiping Krishna by the Gaura Mantra. Those who believe that there is a difference between Gaura and Krishna are extremely foolish. They are simply servants of Kali, Brajanath. Where can one find the mantra of the hidden avatar Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? Baba Ji, tantras which contain the mantras of the manifest avatars also contain the mantra of the hidden avatar in a secret way. Those, in, those whose intelligence is not crooked can understand it. Prajanath, by what method is Gauranga worshipped as Jugal in a dual form? Baba Ji. See, Gauranga's Jugal is formed in one way in the Archan process and another way in the Bhajan process. She Gaura Vishnu Priya are worshipped in the process of Archana. And in the process of Bhajan, one performs Seva to Shri Gaur Gadadhar. Vajanath, which Shakti of Shri Gauranga is Shri Vishnu Priya, Babaji? The Bhaktas generally refer to her as Bhu Shakti. However, in reality, she is the Samvit potency combined with the essence of Ladini. In other words, she is the personified form of Bhakti who has descended to assist Gaur Avatar in the work of spreading Shri Nam. Just as Navadip Dham is the personified form, Swarup of the ninefold process of devotional service, Navada Bhakti, so Shri Vishnu Priya is also the Swarup of Navada Bhakti. Prajanath. So, can Vishnu Priya Devi be called Swarup Shakti? How can there be any doubt about this? In the combination of Samvit Shakti and essence of Dharani Shakti, anything but Swarup Shakti? Prajanath. Prabhuji, I will soon learn to worship Sri Gaura. I just remembered something else that I would like you to please explain to me clearly. You have explained that Chit Shakti, Jiva Shakti and Maya Shakti are three manifestations of Sarupa Shakti. That Ladini Shakti, Samvit Shakti and Sandini are three functions. Ladini, Samvit and Sandini are three functions, Vrittis of Sarup Shakti. And that these three functions, namely Ladini, Samvit and Sandini, act on the three manifestations, Chit Shakti, Jiva Shakti and Maya Shakti. All of this is simply the work of Shakti. Apart from this, the spiritual world, the spiritual body and the spiritual pastimes are all are also indications of Shakti alone. Then what is the indication of Shakti Man Krishna Babaji? This is a very difficult problem. Do you want to kill this old man with the sharp arrows of your arguments? My dear son, the answer is as simple as a question, but it is difficult to find a person who is qualified to understand it. Anyway, I shall explain it and so please try to understand. I agree that Krishna's name, form, qualities and pastimes all indicate the function of Shakti. Our freedom, Swatantrata and free will, Swaichamayata are not the work of Shakti. They are both intrinsic activities of the Supreme Person and Krishna is that Supreme Person who has free will and is the abode of Shakti. Shakti is the enjoyed and Krishna is the enjoyed. Shakti is dependent but Krishna is independent. Shakti surrounds that independent Supreme Person on all sides, but he is always conscious of Shakti. The independent Purusha is the master of Shakti, even though he is covered by Shakti. Human beings can only realize that Supreme Person, Param Purusha, by taking shelter of that Shakti. That is why the conditioned Shiva cannot realize the identity of Shakti Man independently from realizing the identity of Shakti. However, when the bhaktas develop love for Shaktiman, they are able to perceive him who is beyond Shakti. Bhakti is a form of Shakti and that is why she has a female form, being, being under the guidance of Krishna's internal potency. Sarup Shakti, she experiences the pastimes of the Purusha. Those pastimes indicate that Krishna is possessed of both free will and the intrinsic quality of being the predominating enjoyer. Prajanath, 
if we accept a tattva beyond shakti that is devoid of characteristics by which it can be identified that tattva would be the same as brahma described in the upanishads Papaji. the brahma of the upanishads is devoid of desires but krishna the param purusha who is described in the upanishad is actually composed of free will so it's charmaya there is a big difference between the two brahma is nirvishesh without any attributes conversely even the krishna is distinct from shakti he is Savishesh, possessed of form and attributes because he has the qualities of Purushatva, manhood, and Bhaktratva, being the enjoyer, Adhikar, authority, and Satantrada, independent. In reality, Krishna and his Shakti are non different. The Shakti that indicates Krishna's presence is also Krishna because Krishna Kamini Shakti in the form of Sri Radha. Manifest her identity in a female form. Krishna is the one who is served, and the Supreme Shakti Shimati Radhika is his Seva Dasi. Their individual Abhiman self conceptions are the only tattva that differentiate them. Prajanath, if Krishna's desire and capacity to enjoy indicate the form of Purusha, what is Shimati Radha Radhika's desire? Babaji, Shivati Radhika is Shivati Radhika's desire is subordinate to Krishna's. None of her desires or efforts are independent of his desire. Krishna has desires, and Shivati Radhika's desire is to serve Krishna according to his desires. Shivati Radhika is the complete and original Shakti, and Krishna is the Purusha, that is, he controls and inspires Shakti. After this discussion, Babaji Mahasha observed that it was quite late at night and asked Prajanath to return to his home. Prajanath offered Dandar Pranam to Babaji Maharaj's feet and walked towards Bilbo Pushkarani in a blissful mood. Day by day, Prajanath's moods were changing. This very much alarmed his family members and his parental grandmother decided to get him married as soon as possible. She started looking for a suitable match but Bhajanath always stayed aloof from these matters and did not hear the conversations regarding marriage. Rather, he remained constantly absorbed in contemplating the various tattvas that he heard from Babaji Mahasha. He was naturally drawn to Babaji Maharaj in Srivasangan, for he wanted to realize these tattvas he had heard and was greedy to hear your ever new lecturate teachings. Thus ends the 14th chapter of Jaiva Dharma entitled Prameya Shakti Tattva. Chapter 15 <clears throat> Prameya Jiva Tattva. The next day, Prajanath reached Shiva Sangan earlier than on previous days. The Vaishnavas from Gotram had also come before evening to take darshan of Sandhya Arti. And Sri Premdas Paramahansa Babaji Mahashe. Babaji, Vaishnava Das, Advait Das, and other Vaishnavas were already seated in the Arti Mandap. When Bhajanath saw the Bhavas of the Vaishnavas from Gotram, he was struck with wonder and thought, I'll, I'll perfect my life by having their association as soon as possible. When those Vaishnavas saw his humble and devotional disposition, all of them bestowed their blessings on Bhajanath. When Arti was over, Bhajanath and the elderly Babaji began to walk southwards together in the direction of Bodhruma. Raghunath Das Babaji saw tears continuously falling from Bhajanath's eyes and feeling very affectionate towards him, asked lovingly, Baba, why are you weeping? Bhajanath said, Prabhu, when I remember your sweet instructions, my heart becomes restless and the entire world seems to be devoid of all the substance. My heart is becoming eager to take shelter at Sri Gauranga Dev's lotus feet. Please be merciful to me and tell me who I am, who I really am according to Tattva and why I have come to this world. 
Baba Ji, my dear son, you have blessed me by asking such a question. The day that the Jiva first asked this question is the auspicious day uh, his good fortune arises. If you kindly hear the fifth shloka of the Shamul Tattva, all your doubts will be displayed. So we'll discuss this particular uh, Jiva Tattva next time. Thank you so much for attending today's class. Hare Krishna. Jai Hare Krishna. If anyone has any comments or questions, they can ask. Otherwise, Anang Mohan Prabhu can give Jai Hare Krishna. Shishi Guru Gauranga Gandharva Giridari Radha Vinod Bharaji Ki Jai Vishnu Pahara Stotra Shashi Marbhakti Vinod Vishnu Deity Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Vishnu Pahara Stotra Shashi Marbhakti Dhani Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithin Lipra Vishnu Pahara Shashi Marbhakti Vinod Narayan Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithin Lipra Vishnu Vishnu Pahara Stotra Shashi Marbhakti Vinod Vaman Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Nithin Lipra Vishnu Vishnu Pahara Stotra Shashi Marbhakti Vinod Swami Maharaj Ki Jai जगन्नाथ <laughs> प्रभु की जय श्री राम विष्णु चक्र ठाकुर की जय श्री अनुराधा श्री वशाम इंद्र प्रभु राय की जय श्री राम कृष्ण का विराज गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय श्री रूप सनातन बात रघुनाथ के गोपाल दास अनुराग सद गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय श्री स्वरूप दामोदर अमन नरेश गौर प्रसाद बिन की जय नाम चार श्री राम हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम सको श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्य आनंद शेयर बैठ के दादर शिव सति गौर भक्त बिन की जय सुदर्शन चक्र जीव की जय श्री शेर मंदल की जय सर्व विघ्न विनाशकारी श्री नरसिंह देव की जय भक्त प्रहलाद महाराज की जय चार दास की जय चार संप्रदाय की जय चार चार की जय अकर मात राशि चैतन्य मात की जय श्री श्री केशव जी गौरी अमर बहुत सकमा समहा की जय ग्रंथ राशि मत भागवत की जय शायर नाम संकीर्तन की जय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय सामगाज भक्त वृंद की जय श्री नीताय गौर प्रेम हरि हरि बोल हरि हरि बोल क्षमा करो दया करो वैष्णवी Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you so much, Marge, for attending today and joining class. And thank you, dear devotees, for joining. And we'll Hare see you all on Thursday with Shri Pad Bhakti Vedanta Dandi Maharaj for question and answers. So, anybody got questions, please do send it through and we will forward it to Guru Dev. Thank you, Hare Krishna, Dandavat. Thank you Hare so much, Marge. Thank you, Shri Pad Bhakti Vedanta Dandi Maharaj for question and answers. Thank you so much.